traveling is, is necessary evil if you know you could one day teleport yourself to one place to another that would be a dream tour the shows and the places when where you arrive are always nice but the traveling is, is the toughest part how people tolerate that it's it's very much up to each person some people can suffer insomnia in the bus it's not the most comfortable place to get sleep even though you have nice bunks and so on. For some people it takes a lot of time to get used to sleep in a moving bus. Some people get drunk to get sleep and or take uh, sleeping pills, so surviving. Everybody's got their own, own thing how to survive. Being on the road, it's, uh, it's a job, it's the work, what I do. It's also a way of life, you know, you need certain attitude to tolerate, to be on the road. But then it's, it's again, more older you get, more harder it gets uh, in, in, in physics-wise, because, you know, you, uh, when you were around 20, you could easily drink day after another, <laughs> didn't have to suffer any hangovers. But nowadays, if you do that, you are physically and mentally totally devastated. <laughs> But it's, you know, it, it's easier these days. I remember the old days in the 90s, especially in America, you know, you didn't have any f phones. You always called home from, from these uh, coin telephone boxes. But nowadays you have Skype and you can phone home wherever you want. So it's, it's more easier to be in contact with your, with your families. Buses and everything is, is way better for traveler and being a part of traveling party. These days it's easier. I tried not to oversleep too much. I, I don't like the idea of, of sleeping in the bunk till late afternoon. Then you come to the venue, you usually take some breakfast, eat, take a walk outside. It depends where you are. Like today, with our singer, we went out just for a walk. We walked a couple of kilometers and just to, you know, move because you can easily stuck in your backstage room and play with your mobile phone. In the morning, between the, the afternoon and the day, you have a lot of sort of spare time when, when all the technicians are building up the stage, doing the work for us. So um, basically our job starts from soundcheck. Then after that we do occasionally interviews. Then you start to pre prepare for the, for the evening. When you spend 24 hours a day time between your bandmates and between the crew, uh, it's really necessary that, that uh, everybody respects each other and, and give their space if, if, if they want. So um, I think that's that's what makes makes a good and successful touring. So with almost every every guy from our crew, we we worked years and years together. Our sound engineer has been working for us almost 10 years now. So we try to keep the same crew all the time. So it's uh, sort of like a big family which goes around. And of course there's always the technicians and the band, and, and the band spends more time with, together than with technicians. But we all meet in the bus eventually, at the end of the day, with the members from support band and technicians and, and our band. We are all there together and, and we enjoy to listen to the same kind of music in the bus. So that's, that's also pretty important. It would be a nightmare if, if you tour with a thrash metal band of 20-year-old guys and, and they blast in the bus and listen to just thrash metal all day long. So I think <laughs> that would stop pretty easily. <laughs> Might be that we are tired and like walking zombies on the daytime, but every day when the just before when the show starts, like an hour, half an hour before, when you start to prepare for the show, you get the excitement, and then finally when 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 the intro comes up, you you really get get the energy for for the stage and and and, and get the feeling, and when you see people shaking their hands and, and you see them enjoying the music, I think that's that's the best feedback and, and the best motivation for, for the musicians to do a good show.